day 40 what 40 days how did I get here I got here with chap lips that's for sure So I wanted to mention last night before I went to bed, I was having some issues with just feeling like, I would say a little bit of anxiousness and irritation. Like I was just like feeling the need to like press on pressure points. So I was just like pressing really, really hard like in all of like the sinus areas of my face. I was like pressing on my rib cage. Like I felt like I needed to like basically like feel pain, especially like in my neck area and my arms. I was just like pressing to where, like until the point where it was like hurting. Like I really felt the need to do that. It actually helped. I went to bed like shortly after. I just got done taking my day 40 photos. I wouldn't say there's like a huge difference between day 30 and day 40. So my weight loss um, in the last 10 days has been like about five pounds. I might be able to notice a little bit from my backside, but you know, you just start looking at so many different photos of your body and like picking them apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and send those off to my mom because she is never afraid to give me a opinion on what I really look like. So I know she will give me honesty. So I was thinking about on day 40 dressing up like Jesus and going through the streets and asking people, how long they think someone can go without food for, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get around to that. My salt intake has not been good, and let me tell you what, I feel like shit because of it. So today I'm gonna give myself salt. You know, even though like having a sweet tooth has been an issue in my life, uh, candy has really never been an issue for me. So not candy, but um, just like baked goods, cakes, things like that is ice cream. Oh, ice cream has always been where it's at for me. I'm looking forward to making some keto ice cream when I get back home. I was just reading a post about someone or people talking about like refeeding and someone's like, oh, I did 17 days and I like, you know, had Taco Bell that day. I don't want to do that. But I feel like people, it's, everyone is just so different. And I feel like I have a strong body and I might be able to go back to eating regular food. I don't know. We shall see. And as a Halloween treat, I'm going to give myself some electrolyte powder. So, happy Halloween to me. I'm going to treat myself to some Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder today. So moving forward, I want to inform people about something they should know about Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder. So when I was actually at his conference in DC a couple weeks ago, what I did was I checked my glucose and ketone levels before and after drinking his ketone, excuse me, drinking his electrolyte powder. So I did it on two separate days. And what I noticed is that his electrolyte powder, which has stevia, something you need to be aware of, it did knock my ketones number down from 6.6 .6 to 6.1 and it also raised my glucose levels from, from from 50 to 64. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Um, I have also kind of noticed that the days that I did take Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder that when I would take it consistently, I was kind of noticing a slowdown of weight loss. So be careful because you know it could potentially be slowing down your progressions and you don't even know it. So stevia, definitely, people, everyone reacts to it differently. So you need to do some research and check your numbers to see if it is knocking you out because that is something very major. All right, I'm here to pick up my scooter. Let's hope it is working back at 100% because I do not want to have to come back here. I got my scooter back, which means I'm back in action. Luckily, it's only like $70 to fix. The part wasn't under warranty, but I don't believe that they charged me for the labor, which was a positive thing. So back to living the dream in Puerto Rico. This will be why I have trust issues in Puerto Rico. Today I'm treating myself to a foam roller. I seriously feel like I need to like foam roll my face. I don't know if it's like my sinuses detoxing or what. No foam rollers at these Marshalls, but you know, these Marshalls here in Puerto Rico are on steroids. Like, they are way better than the ones in the States. I went ahead and tried on some dresses too because it's difficult to buy clothing like while losing weight, but I'm really trying to be disciplined and only buy things if I like love them. Not just like them, I need to love them. And that's part of my minimalist mentality. 
Will I ever like Halloween? The answer is no. I will never like Halloween. They don't have a Jesus costume for me. I wanted to dress up like Jesus. The store was just so congested. I'm out. So I have to take a call here shortly. So I needed to just like sit in a fast food place because I'm on my scooter, not in a car. But I did a very unminimalist thing. Spent money on wild water. $1.78 here at Church's Chicken. And that's like very uncharacteristic of me, but when you're fasting and you're smelling chicken, you gotta get the water. Just do torturous things like smell fried chicken when I haven't eaten in 40 days. Uh, it smells okay, but I would prefer actually their honey biscuits. So I think their chicken sucks here. I am definitely looking forward to getting off this fast and making some keto friendly like honey butter biscuits, except you can't have honey on keto. So I'll have to figure that out. I feel like this water right here is gonna be like drinking water after like a 72 hour try fast because that's how thirsty I am. I just love water, thank God. The best part about a scooter is my estimated time of arrival. I shaved off 13 minutes by going on, passing on the right, passing on the left, breaking all the rules because I was born to break the rules. You see that lady walking quickly over there? So she's the one that ran over my scooter with this car and got mad at me for it. My scooter was parked there and she went over her line four feet and knocked over my scooter and got mad at me. She got out of her car and walked away quickly. Why? Because she still feels guilty. So today was an interesting day. I decided to take my 40 day photos and put them next to my day one photos. I did not post them on my personal Facebook yet or my personal Instagram because honestly, I'm kind of nervous about it. I don't know why, but so I posted it instead on the snake diet motivation page and I posted it on a women's only fasting group. Obviously like 95 or I would say even 98% of all the feedback was really, really positive. It was very overwhelming because now both posts have like over a thousand likes and like hundreds of comments and people are being so nice that I wouldn't respond and give everyone attention. And then I look at my phone and I have a missed call from Cole Robinson. Yep, I was really excited because I have not communicated with him directly before and I did not get him as a coach during the process because I felt like I could do this by myself and I did not want to take his time away from someone that really needed his guidance and help and assistance and communication. But we had a great conversation. He gave me so much great advice. He's going to help me moving forward on building muscle, which I'm really excited about because that's what I need the most help on. Like I can fast, no problem there. I can get on the wagon when I fall off. But for me, I don't have that much experience in like weightlifting properly. So, you know, the truth of the matter is, is that Sometimes people will say negative things and unfortunately those are the ones that stick with you. One of the more funny, like most of the time when people say negative things, I think it's more funny. And so someone just tagged like their friend and they wrote crank next to it, like accused me of doing drugs. And when I started this, I was like haters will say it was cocaine. And so I was kind of anticipating that. So I hope you have an amazing day. Go out there and create a life you love and happy Halloween.